Fran Brown could be at it again. You are locked on Syracuse, your daily podcast on the Syracuse Orange, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Syracuse football is expected to land a four-star corner in the class of 2025. And here to talk about it is Jackson Holzer. That's myself from Locked On Syracuse. Thank you all so much for making us your first listen of every single day here on the Locked On Podcast Network, where it's your team every day and we are free and available wherever you get your podcasts. And folks, we got another mini podcast for you all because... There was some recent rumblings lately. Syracuse football is predicted to land a four-star corner in the class of 2025. That's right. In case you missed the news online, it's Caleb Singleton. And that's what we're going to talk about here on this mini Locked on Syracuse podcast about Caleb Singleton, shall we? He is a cornerback, six foot one, 175 pounds. From Florida, he is a four-star recruit in the class of 2025 over on Rivals. He is a three-star everywhere else, but I will later on in the podcast when we go over 2025 corners, I will tell you why this is still a massive, massive commit if Syracuse does in fact land Caleb Singleton, all right? Huge if they can get him. The prediction came from a major recruiting analyst from Rivals National Recruiting Analyst, John Garcia. Now, a little bit about Caleb Singleton. He was previously committed to Rutgers, but he decommitted from that school just a little over a month ago. And since then, according to Garcia, uh, the programs that have been most involved for Singleton are obviously Syracuse, the team that's now projected to land him come signing day. We'll get over that in a second. Florida, so a big-time SEC program, and Michigan as well was involved, although it seems like, according to Garcia, that the interest has kind of cooled off a little bit on Michigan. But Michigan just won the national championship. They're not going to win it this year, but they won it last year. They are a big-time program as well. Garcia speculates that Singleton's final visit just happened. Singleton was in attendance uh, for Syracuse's game against UConn, I believe, and that might be his final visit of his entire recruiting cycle. And the reason why is because he believes that Singleton will sign during the early signing period on December 4th. Okay. There are two national signing periods. The first one is coming up in just a matter of weeks. And Garcia is speculating and predicting that Singleton will commit in the next couple of weeks. And he thinks he's headed to Syracuse. That's a big deal. If Singleton were to come to Syracuse, This would be an excellent commitment for the Orange. He would join fellow four-star Floridian, I may add, Floridian in in, uh, the class of 2025, Demetrius Samuel. Remember Demetrius Samuel? He was in the class of 2026. He then decommitted from us. He reclassified to 2025, committed to the Gators, but then decommitted from Florida and is now back with us. I would say that Singleton and Samuel are a pretty solid foundation for the future in the defensive backs room for Syracuse football. Now, keep in mind that Demetrius Samuel is a safety. He can also play wide receiver. I imagine he can also play a little bit of corner as well because he's just a freakish freakish athlete. But Samuel is listed as a safety and Singleton is listed as a corner. So it could be a pretty solid secondary for years to come if this commit were to occur. Once again, rivals four-star Caleb Singleton, a cornerback in a class of 2025, is predicted to land with Syracuse, and that is a big deal. We'll see if that prediction becomes a reality, okay? Samuel, back to that topic, by the way, Samuel, he could be a starter next season for Syracuse, even as a true freshman. And when you look at the cornerback room for next season, these are for podcasts later on, but I'll tell you right now, Clarence Lewis, the Notre Dame transfer this season, he's out of eligibility, so he cannot come back. That leaves a starting cornerback spot open. Potentially, is it possible that Caleb Singleton can fill that role? I think so. Syracuse football just had a four-star corner start games this season. That was uh, Marcellus Barnes, 
But Marcellus Barnes, of course, right now is injured, unfortunately. But he was starting. Keep that in mind. So Fran Brown is not afraid to play true freshmen, particularly in the defensive backs. He's not afraid, obviously, Murad Watson on the defensive line. Point being, Fran Brown is going to play the best player. And it's possible that Caleb Singleton, if he were to commit to Syracuse, would be the second starting cornerback next season with Marcellus Barnes. But that's a topic for another day. Now, coming up, Caleb Singleton would be by far and away the best cornerback in the class of 2025. Basketball season is in full swing, whether it's the NBA or college like Syracuse, going to basketball games is always exciting. And the way I get tickets for games is by using Game Time. Game Time is a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for your favorite live events even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats. So you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. And my favorite feature is the curated deals. Curation makes it easier to save more on sports, concerts, comedy theater, etc. Whatever you want. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On College for twenty dollars off. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Locked On College. L O C K E D O N C O L L E G E for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? game time. Get ready to tackle the NFL action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book, because right now new customers can bet $5 and get 150 in bonus bets if you win your first $5 bet. And the FanDuel Sportsbook app gives you everything you need to place live bets on the NFL all in one place. So when you get a hunch in the middle of a game, you can check out the latest stats, view live play-by-play, and so much more in the same page where you place your bets. Syracuse football, let's talk about them for a second, right? This season, there's one more game left. In the regular season, they do have a bowl game coming up, but it's a big one. Miami on Saturday, they are currently 10 and a half point home favorite, excuse me, 10 and a half point home underdogs to Miami. Can you believe that? 10 and a half points at home, man. What do you think of those odds? Do you think Syracuse can better yet pull off the upset? Well, that's up for you to decide. Just visit FanDuel.com to join today. You'll get started with $150 in bonus bets if you win your first $5 bet. That's FanDuel.com. Never waste a hunch and make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Caleb Singleton, a four-star corner in the class of 2025 over on Rivals, is predicted to land with Syracuse. Whether or not that comes to fruition, well, we might find out in a couple of weeks with the early signing period on December 4th. But Getting a prediction from a major recruiting service is a big deal. However, Rivals is the only recruiting service, at least a major one, that has Caleb Singleton as a four-star recruit. Having said that, despite him being a three-star and everywhere else, he would still be, by far and away, the best corner in Syracuse's 2025 class. Currently, they have three of them at this moment. All of them are three stars, so Singleton will be the only player, if he were to commit, to at least have a four-star rating on some recruiting service. He would be the only one. Singleton's on-three industry ranking, this is what I'm going to use to make my point, okay? His on-three industry ranking is currently at an 87.97. That's a solid three-star recruit, okay? The other 2025 corners. Okay, that are in Syracuse's 2025 class. Number one, Javon Lawrence. He's from New York. He's got a rating of 86.52. You got Jordan Gibbs, also from New York. His rating is an 86.43. And then you got Zion Brettel from Philly, who's got a rating of 84.66. So it doesn't matter what recruiting site you use. The bottom line is this. Getting Caleb Singleton to Syracuse would be a big deal because regardless, he would be the highest rated corner in Syracuse's 2025 class, period, okay? It it doesn't mean that Singleton is going to turn out better than those guys. It just means that he is higher rated heading into the season. Sound good? So hopefully, Syracuse football can follow through on this prediction and land rivals four-star recruit cornerback Caleb Singleton to its 2025 class. So what is coming up on the podcast going forward? Well, 
Tomorrow, we're back to a normal full-length podcast, all right? We're going to talk all things Syracuse and Miami. How does that sound? Sound good to you all? Cool. And then on Wednesday, maybe I'll do a mini podcast during the day. Maybe. We'll see how I'm feeling, right? I am traveling on Tuesday. So maybe I'll record at that point after. I don't know. But Wednesday night, Syracuse basketball is back in action. They're playing Cornell. And there will be a full post-game reaction podcast for you all. So that is what is coming up on the podcast going forward. Thank you, everyone, for making Locked on Syracuse your first listen today. And, folks, if you really like this video, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you know right away when I am dropping the next podcast. And, folks, let's hope that Syracuse football can follow through on this prediction and land rivals four-star recruit Caleb Singleton in its 2025 class.